How you doing, Woody? Good to see you. Good to see you too, bud. I brought my buddy Lindsay on here. Hey, how's it going? How are you, man? Yeah, we're gonna get a couple shaves. Cool, have a seat. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna look great after this, dude. Like a couple superheroes. I'm not a hero, I'm just a guy. Nah, you're not just a guy. There's a hero inside all of us. Did I ever tell you about the time I saved the baby? What? No, really? Dude, it was epic. It was the first really nice day of spring, you know? So I decided to get a shave, dress up nice, and go for a walk. As I step off the porch, I take my hat off to scratch my head, and I happen to spot inside my cap this little white mint rolling around inside. I mean, you know how mints are. They get everywhere. So I toss it in my mouth. Right away, before I bite down, I realize something's wrong. The weight, the texture's not right, and most troubling of all, it's not minty. Mints are supposed to be minty. I'm telling you, this mint wasn't minty. I pull it out and I look at it again. It's got little speckles on it. It was an egg. I look up into the trees above me and I see this hummingbird darting around all freaked out. This is her egg. Her egg fell into my hand. I feel I should help somehow. But part of me's like, forget it, Sans. This bird will never take this egg back. It's been in your mouth. Then another part of me is like, I don't know. Maybe that's a myth about how birds won't take an egg back once you put it in your mouth. So I make up my mind. I'm gonna do the epic thing and get this little guy back in his nest. I examine my surroundings and I decide, you know what? I'll go for the flower pot, the rain gutter, the roof, the tree. I mean, it'll be a stretch, but it will work. What happened next? I don't know if adrenaline kicked in or what. But I leapt off the pot like a cat, shimmied up the gutter like a ninja, got down on the roof like a mud-covered Navy SEAL, and stretched my arm out like some kind of rubber guy. I swear, the hummingbird was watching. Now, it was sort of touch and go there, but I gently dropped the egg in the nest. Oh, and it felt great. A couple weeks later, I look up into the sky and I see four healthy hummingbirds flying around with their mama bird. One of them was a little smaller than the other, so I could just tell that he was my egg. I felt so proud. Honestly, I kind of felt like a dad. And fatherhood, bro? It's pretty epic. What? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> you think I saved a human baby? No, no, no. I saved a hummingbird baby. Even better. Nice and smooth. Sharp. Thank you, Woody.